हेलो स्टूडेंट माय नेम इज हिमांशु शर्मा आईआईटी दिल्ली एल्यूमिनस सो टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग ए नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम व्हिच केम्स इन 2007 सो लेट डिस्कस इट सो फर्स्टली वी इफ यू सी दिस प्रॉब्लम यू आर थिंकिंग दिस इज अ ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक प्रॉब्लम बट दैट इज नॉट अ ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक प्रॉब्लम दैट इज द ब्यूटी ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन दिस इज नॉट अ ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक प्रॉब्लम दिस इज अ क्यूब रूट और लाइक एज एन एथ रूट ऑफ यूनिटी प्रॉब्लम सो लेट्स डिस्कस इट so we know that uh, cos 2 pi by 7 4 pi by 7 and cos 6 pi by 7 so look like as in the denominator 7 occur so we think in that way x to power 7 equal to 1 like a seventh root of unity okay after that we know that uh, uh, the root of x to power 7 equal to 1 is e ki power 2 pi iota by 7 2 k pi iota by 7 एंड के इक्वल टू जीरो वन टू अप टू सिक्स और राइट सो दिस इक्वेशन आई वॉज सेवन रूट एंड सेवन रूट आर अकर इन दिस पेयर और राइट सो वी नो डेट सम ऑफ और रूट इज जीरो सो लेट एस टेक लेट एस सपोज अल्फा इज दिस वन प्लस अल्फा प्लस अल्फा स्क्वायर प्लस अल्फा क्यू अल्फा पावर फोर अल्फा पावर फाइव अल्फा पावर सिक्स इक्वल टू जीरो बिकॉज सम ऑफ रूट इज जीरो और राइट After that, what we are do? We know that alpha equal to this, uh, uh, alpha equal to cos two. Uh, sorry, sorry. That is the root, and alpha equal to e to the power two pi iota by seven. That is our alpha. So in polar format, that is cos two pi iota by seven, cos two pi by seven plus iota sine two pi by seven. All right. So that is our alpha. All right. So what is our alpha square? Cos 4 pi by 7 plus iota sine 4 pi by 7. All right. So let's discuss it. So firstly, one cos 2 pi by 7 plus iota sine 2 pi by 7. All right. Similarly, cos uh, square cos 4 pi by 7 plus iota sine 4 pi by 7. After that, uh, alpha q cos six pi by seven plus iota sine six pi by seven. All right. But after that, alpha power four is cos eight pi by seven plus iota sine eight pi by seven. Similarly, I can write. Another one, ten pi by seven plus iota sine ten pi by seven, and twelve uh, pi by seven plus iota sine twelve pi by seven. Clear? And we know that if cos Cos 12 pi by 7 is simply written as cos 2 pi minus 12 pi by 7. All right. Look like this. This is also written as sine 2 pi minus 12 pi by 7. Sorry, 2 pi minus 2 pi by 7, not 12 pi by 7. 2 pi by 7. 2 pi minus 2 pi by 7. All right. So and we know that cos 2 pi minus theta and sin 2 pi minus theta formula. So cos 2 pi minus theta is nothing but equal to cos theta. Similarly, sin 2 pi minus theta is equal to minus of sin theta. Clear? So we can put it. Similarly, these terms are cos 2 pi minus 6 pi by 7. Plus iota sine two pi minus six pi by seven. All right. Similarly, we can write it as cos two pi minus four pi by seven and iota sine two pi minus four pi by seven. So what we do in this question? Firstly, we observe that that is a cube root of unity problem. After that, sum of root equal to zero. So one plus alpha plus alpha is equal up to alpha six equal to zero. After that we uh, write it as a root, and after that 
our favorable term is real part of cos uh, uh, real part of alpha alpha square alpha q all right cos 2 pi 2 pi by 7 plus cos 4 pi by 7 plus cos 6 pi by 7 but uh, the below term cos 8 pi by 7 cos 10 pi by 7 and cos 12 pi by 7 can be written as cos 6 pi by 7 minus iota 6 pi by 7 cos 4 pi by 7 minus iota 4 pi by 7 cos 2 pi by 7 minus iota uh, 2 pi by 7 so like uh, read, uh, write in this way all right so 1 plus uh, let us take a real part uh, another side and imaging part in uh, different side all right so cos 2 pi by 7 plus cos 4 pi by 7 plus cos 6 pi by 7 all right after that these terms are uh, comes in a two times cos 2 pi by 7 and also cos 2 pi by 7 cos 4 pi by 7 cos 4 pi by 7 cos 6 pi by 7 cos 6 pi by 7 so we can multiply by 2 so that is a 2 all right so because cos 2 pi by 7 is uh, one in this side and another cos 2 pi by 7 is this side cos 4 pi by 7 cos 4 pi by 7 cos 6 pi by 7 is this cos 6 pi by 7 is this so two times after that uh, when uh, now we are writing imaginary part so sin 2 pi by 7 sin 4 pi by 7 plus sin 6 pi by 7 all right after that we see that minus sin 2 pi by 7 is this minus sin 2 pi by 7 minus sin 4 pi by 7 minus 6 sin 6 pi by 7 so let us write it with our negative sign minus sin 2 pi by 7 minus sin 4 pi by 7 minus sin 6 pi by 7 all right so this term are cancelled and that is equal to 0 because sum of root equal to 0. Now, we have to find the value of this. So, 2 cos 2 pi by 7 plus cos 4 pi by 7 plus cos 6 pi by 7 is equal to minus 1. So, the value of this is nothing but equal to minus half. All right. that is equal to minus half. We can do this problem via technomatic identity, but it is very difficult to uh, which formula we use to calculate this equation. Also this uh, question comes in an, uh, a later way from this uh, line. So, let us discuss it. After that, uh, we know that 1 plus alpha plus alpha square plus alpha q plus alpha power 4 plus alpha power 5 plus alpha power 6 equal to 0 because sum of root is 0 and you also know that alpha power 7 equal to identity that is equal to 1. So, can be written alpha power 4 let us multiply by alpha minus 3 alpha power 4 is equal to alpha minus 3 similarly alpha power 5 alpha minus 2 or similarly alpha minus 1 alpha power 6 is equal to alpha minus 1. So, we put it 1 plus alpha alpha square alpha q plus alpha power minus 3 alpha power minus 2 alpha power minus 1 equal to 0 and we know that alpha power minus 3 is nothing but e k power i minus 6 pi iota by 7. So, if we open it cos 6 pi by 7 minus iota 6 pi by 7. So, we can simply say the imaginary term will cancel out because 1, 2, 3 is this minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 is this side. So, imaginary term will be cancel out. So, the total term is only real part and the real part is 2 into alpha plus 2 real part of alpha, alpha square, alpha q. And the real part of this is cos 2 pi by 7, cos 4 pi by 7 plus this. So, after that, uh, you can write this step and simplify further, all right. So, that is a very fantastic question and you can also generalize it up to uh, 2 n plus 1 like as uh, if uh, in denominator like as 13. So, you can uh, continue this cos series up to 12 pi by 7. That is a very fantastic question uh, that occur in a nest and uh, no one can guess this is a cube root of unity problem not a trigonometric problem. So, thank you very much. Mm -hmm.